This test is 100% pure white vinegar. I had a viewer point out to me that some people are using pure white vinegar as an electrolyte and at first I was thinking, golly, at two dollars a gallon it's uh, not really cost effective, is it? But, who am I to decide how people spend their money? I'm going to go ahead and test it and see how it works. So I got uh, 75 degrees in the vinegar and one amp on the ammeter. We'll just see what it does. A little slow getting started compared to the others I think, but it's beginning to work. and check back later see what we got I'm at seven minutes almost coming up on eight minutes by the time I'm done talking I've got 80 degrees in the water there's a little bit of a um, tent barely and I'm still showing only about one amp I don't know how accurate my ammeter is, but one amp. And yeah, it's only a moderate amount of production at this point. At 20 and a half minutes, I'm noticing I'm registering 90 degrees in the water. Still about one amp on ammeter. The charger is 91 degrees and I see a quite a bit of foam. It's not what I would call uh, it's not what I would call a showstopper but there's foam. Which has me curious what happens when you light that much foam? That was pretty loud. Very cool. It wiped out my big. Hmm. Must have vinegar in the lighter. Well, we'll check on that later. Anyway, after about between 15 and 20 minutes I noticed the formation of foam. At 40 minutes I'm beginning to see a light colored particulate in the water and some of it's begun to settle on the bottom. I still have foam on the surface. There's 104 degrees in the water. I'm still only showing about one amp of uh, current and the temperature in the battery charger is 95 and a half degrees. So now it's been an hour since uh, we started the test with the vinegar here and uh, it's at the point where I can just barely see plates in there. The color of this stuff is different, however, it's not brown, and it is definitely foaming. The temperature in the water is 112 degrees. Uh, I'm showing maybe 2 amps. Kind of hard to tell with a sand meter. And uh, 98 degrees on the battery charger. Now I want to show the connection layer here. Very distinct. The water below the plates definitely stays cooler. So that's something to think about in doing engineering.
if the water is not at the same level as the plates, then it never heats up like the plates, the water around the plates. So I've got at a hundred an hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> Why do I keep wanting to call it a hundred and something? Anyway, in an hour and 15 minutes, I got 121 degrees in the water. Still looks like maybe one or two amps. And 100 degrees on the battery charger. Uh, by the way, I'm using the relay right now that I showed in another film clip. And uh, so far, it's a little hard to tell how much production there is because you can't see any plates. It's just kind of a yellow green cloudy ooze. Well I'm going to run this until an hour and 45 minutes and then let it sit overnight and we'll see how much particulate settles out if it does. But uh, that's the plan. Run it about the same time as the others and see how much there is. At an hour and 36 minutes I got 131 degrees in the water. Uh, about two amps and 101 degrees on the battery charger. Okay, we're at an hour and 45 minutes. I've got 135 degrees in the water. Still two amps. 102 degrees on the battery charger. And what was new this time was I'm using the relay. Which, now that you don't hear the buzzing, that means it's off. Now that I'm looking at it, um, the water really clouds bad with straight vinegar and it foams. It also doesn't seem to uh, draw as much current. Well, at 2 amps compared to 15 amps, yes, it does not draw as much current. Uh, production looks okay. I don't know how I would compare it to 15 amps. Uh, using uh, baking soda or but, uh, sodium hydroxide but uh, with the particulates in the water right now I'm not sure how useful this is yet I would have to filter this water and reuse it to see what it gets